Just trying to find us on my iPad and then we'll make a start. Oh, I can't find me tonight. Okay. Evening, everybody. I am live again. Um, for some of you, it's the second time of seeing me today. I actually did a live demonstration in the UK demonstrator group today so um, second time live completely different project um, and I'm a little bit calmer shall we say so yes welcome everybody to my Wednesday night live craft along I hope you're all having a very good week and um, good news here in the UK um, it looks like some of the rules around lockdown and everything else that goes with it is is actually there's light at the end of the tunnel so really good good um how do i say it it's nice to have some good news um or something to look forward to let's let's hope um it all happens the way boris has outlined so for those of you that follow me closely for those of you that don't follow me closely i have a dachshund um called dave and he's two nearly and I have been obsessed with sausage dogs for as long as I can remember. Um, so this year, when the mini catalogue came out, the January to June mini catalogue came out, and there was a sausage dog stamp set, I kind of got a bit excited. Um, but I haven't even got it out of the box yet. So tonight I have taken it out of the box, I have made a card, and I'm ready to show it to you this evening. Um, so we will make a start will probably just be one card but I'm going to see how I get on. Um, I'll show you the one I've made first to replicate and then we'll see how we go. So thank you to everyone who's leaving me some lovely comments. I'll go back after and have a little reply of those. Laura, love your hair like this. Thank you my darling. It, it, it just needs a good cut. Um, I feel like I need a good um, spa break. I need a good manicure. I need a good haircut. Um, so yeah, book me in Laura. Um, so let's get started. I'll just switch my camera around so you can see what I can see. Right, so let's just move things about. Lovely. So nice, clean grid paper. Um, and this is the stamp set that I'm talking about, Hot Dog. Perfect name for a Dash and stamp set. Um, cute images, really lovely sentiments and some little extra stamps that go really really nicely with this set so the card that i have quickly made this evening looks like this and it is quite simple in that there's not a lot going on with it there's no die cutting a little bit of fussy cutting which i'm sure won't surprise you um and a nice bit of layering okay so we'll, we we will make a start now move my stamp set to one side and I'm going to cut my card base so believe it or not my card base is actually whisper white basic white and it is a book fold card so we're going to pop our card in our trimmer and line up at ten and a half centimeters I've got the short edge along the top and we'll score first of all I'm going to turn that round line it up at 14.9 centimeters and we're going to cut okay so we now have two card bases from one piece of a4 okay now for this one i'm going to cut a piece that's 14.9 centimeters okay. now the strips that i'm going to cut now actually measure so that is six centimeters and two centimeters so we'll go for six and we'll go for two. Jenny, I'm thinking of extending card with the dog. Love it, Jenny. And after your card today with the extending tree, amazing, I love it. Look forward to seeing you do that. There is something I want to do with that, talking of extending the dog, um, and I might do that afterwards. Um, so, we're gonna fold our card. 
our little Dave. I know it kind of looks like him, Bev, but he's got little golden bits on him, hasn't he? So um, I haven't tried to replicate my own dog. Um, although I'm sure I shall try in the near future. Okay, so the idea is that one piece gets stuck on the left and one piece gets stuck on the right, okay? Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a little bone stamp and we're gonna stamp all in there. So we'll take that away. And I'm going to use, what did I use for that? I think I used Early Espresso. So Early Espresso, it's one of our neutral colors and it's a lovely dark brown. So let's just, I'm just gonna pop this here so I can kind of gauge where my stamping needs to be. Okay, so then we can just go in and we can stamp all these lovely bones. It's up to you how far apart you make them. I'm trying to turn the stamp so that it looks a bit higgledy piggledy. And then just check that that fits nicely. Yep, that's great. Okay, I'm happy with that. So then now, I'm not sure how well you can see this, if I hold it up to the camera, um, the bones have just got a little bit of colour to them. So I've used a light crumb cake stamping blend. And because this is a really light colour, I'm just going to colour quite roughly those bones. Hi Louise, thanks for joining us this evening. I've um, had a good old sort out in here this evening. I've got a team event coming up at the weekend, which I'm quite excited about. And last weekend I packed all the kits, as well as the kits for my February card classes. And it just looked like a bomb had gone off in here. So today I finally got time to actually get out here and have a good tidy. I just need to do the floors where we've had a lot of rain recently it's a bit muddy in here in places where the dogs in and out and the kids and all good fun okay so let's just make sure that that is all okay i've not missed any yeah i have but there's one there one there one there that's it okay so now we've done that, I'm just going to add a little bit of, going to add some dimensionals to the back of these two pieces. Where are your dimensionals? Here you are. Evening to you, Audrey. Loving it already. Oh, thank you. That's very kind of you. Lovely little layout that you can use for anything. You sure can, yes. Okay, so once we've done our little dimensionals, we're going to line this up with this edge. And pop that on. And then we'll do the same with this side. So line up our edges. And stick that down okay so that is now quite a nice layered card but of course I'm not going to stop there so I'm going to add a little bit of speckling which yes I know I'm obsessed with but it just breaks up that background a little bit okay so now we can bring in some scrap basic white let's see what I've got in my scrap box probably not a lot no it might be okay let's See. do love a little scrap box so this one here is facing the outside of the card but there is also a dash end that faces 
the other way. So let's do that one. I'm going to stamp with Memento. Oh, not first mark. Would look lovely with flowers where the bones are yeah it really would actually um there's even a balloon in the stamp set as well so you could use the balloon as well okay so for our little dashi as i call my little dashi i'm going to use the bronze marker so this comes in the combo pack with the ivory so you buy ivory and bronze together and it's a great color for a dash hound. So let's colour him in. Him, hack, big girl. So I'm just starting by going round the edge with that fine tip end. And just think about where your kind of dark and light places will be. Evening to your mum. My mum has just joined. Hello, mother. Okay, and then using the felt tip end. Now, my bronze is actually quite an old pen, and I can't remember the last time I've used it, and I think the last time that it was used was in a class. Um, so I'm going to be ordering another one. So I'm just adding in layers of colour, which I tend to find is what works really well with blends. I need to get Dave to do a little pose so I can just check where his colourings are. I know he's got a light strip on his chest. I can't think if he's got a light bit on his tummy as well. As if I haven't looked at my dog enough. Bring in that colour now. That's it. Hey Stacey, getting some tips for you. Oh no, I'm sure you don't need any tips from me, my darling. I hope you're keeping well. So there we've got some lovely shading on our little dash hound now and then I want a little black nose so there we have our little dashy okay so I'm just going to cut around that image careful not to chop the tail off rubbish off as well what are you saying mum been sorting out a box for saturday printing off the notes oh yeah that's a good idea oh my granddaughter has just got a sausage dog called fudge she's so adorable oh they are the cutest little puppies what color is she audrey I can't believe Dave is going to be too very soon. It's all gone very quickly. Can you still buy the bronze? You can, Bev. Yes, it's in the combo pack with the ivory. Um, so you used to be able to buy the ivory, the colour lifter and the bronze all together. But now you buy the colour lifter on its own. And the other two still come in a combo pack.
So I'm getting that. So here we have our cute little dash hound. There we go. So we can stick that on. I'm going to stick that over the top of there. Um, so obviously there's a dimensional between the base layer and the Sahara sand layer on top. So I'm going to stick my dimensional under the tummy. And there we have it. That can go on there like so. Brown, brownish fudgishy. <laughs> Brilliant. I love that. Um, sounds very similar to my little David. Um, so we've got how are you on there. So let's do hi on this one. So this is a cute little set of note cards now. some more of this basic white oh what on earth is that on my stamp sorry guys something i've got a foreign object on my stamp that's better okay. Trim around our little speech bubble. And then that can go on there like so. I'm just going to add a little bit of Tombow to that. My hands are terribly inky today. Okay, so we've got our similar card front. We've got one dash hound facing to the left and one facing to the right. And then we just need to pop our detail on the inside because that, I've used a regular basic white, so it's that back piece is really quite thin. So we'll just add in another layer. So let's go for 10 centimetres wide. Adorable card, thank you, Anne. By 13, 14.4, sorry. And then we want a piece of basic white. And this can measure nine and a half centimeters i know this was my card base but i will use it i'm sure somewhere else by 13.9 so i've just taken that layer down by half an inch okay so let's open up our card and then we can build our layers together Now our little sentiment in there is I miss you, it's been too long. Let's stamp that. I'm gonna use soft suede for this. So it's a really lovely card. Really lovely sentiment, sorry, to send to someone just to let them know that you are thinking of them. Okay, so there we have this is my starting card. And this is the one that we've put together on our video. Um, I hope you like it. I have got another idea in mind for a second card. If you fancy sticking around for a short while, I'm just going to grab a blending brush, which should be underneath my pot. Let's see. No, it's in the pot next to me. Right, let's grab some pieces. Let's 
let's try this out then, shall we? So I'm going to use my other piece of Sahara sand. So let's trim that down to what, ten and a half centimetres. I want that to be wide. Jenny's so cute. Thank you, Jenny. Okay. And then we want a piece of basic white. Let's do a simple layer. Let's do 10 centimetres by 14.4 centimetres. So this is going to be our layer for the front. So I'm going to take my Sahara Sand ink pad and we'll just do a real light little bit of blending. I think it's time I re-inked my stamp, my ink pad. So just want a little bit of ink blending, nothing too dark. I'm just going to do that on the bottom part of our card. Okay. And I'm using my light soft suede. Just do a little bit of splashing. Okay. So let's stamp our dash hound. Yeah, I've run out of scrap white. Nope, we've got peace. We're in luck. Okay, so let's do the dash hound that's going the other way. Nice bit of calm colouring tonight. It's just what I need after a busy day. Okay, so now let's colour to colour it in with this crazy edge of my blend. Okay. So just follow this round. Again, thinking about where the light will be. go over to just build up that colour. My blend is definitely in need of new life I think. This blend must be, so this was one of the original blends that I bought when Stampin' Up! released them. So, Jenny, if you're still on, when did blends come out? I don't even remember. That's good, I'm happy with that. So let's cut this out 
now. New Blends 2018. So that blend is three years old. It's the first one I've ever bought is that of that colour. So it's done me well. It's done classes. Um, it isn't a colour I use very often. Um, but I need a new one. Thank you for that, Jenny. Follow him round. Right. Pop those pieces to one side. Now I want a die out of this little packet here. So these are the stitched So Sweetly dies. Very well used. Lovely shapes. Let's see if that will fit on there. No, it won't. I'm just going to grab a new piece of white cardstock. Oh, here's my little scrap pile. Right, so let's die cut with our little mini stamping cut and emboss machine. This is available in the mini catalogue. Um, you can also see it in the main catalogue as well. So let's just layer up our plate. So last week I had a bit of trouble with this um, whilst we were live. Very frustrating. Um, and you won't believe me when I say it, but as soon as I tried it, once I'd finished filming, it went through absolutely perfectly. Okay, so we'll just layer that up. Here we go. Apologies for my little camera wobble. See, wobble wobble. Pop that to one side. So the mini stamping cut and emboss machine is available now until the end of February. When you order it, you can choose a free celebration item because it takes you over that threshold of £45. So if it's on your wish list, now is a great time to look at ordering it. Okay, so we have, I miss you, it's been too long, or I love you, that's the long and short of it. Let's use the same sentiment that we used on the inside, which is here. Okay, so I miss you, it's been too long. So let's stamp that in a little bit of soft suede. Let's pop that in. In our little stamp set, we've got a little heart. So let's just take out a little heart. Pop that on a block. And then let's stamp that in real red. Cute. Okay. So let's start building our card. So I'm going to pop this piece on here. Okay, like so. This stamp set goes really well as well with the Playful, playful Pets suite. That you've got those lovely bright papers really love that set so if we pop that let's do a landscape card yeah let's do that so I'm going to pop this on just with a dimensional so we want just one dimensional in the middle okay now this pains me but we're going to cut him in half or not quite half. I love it, I absolutely love it. My vision has come together. 
Um, this is what I had in my head as soon as well, I had it in my head earlier. And then when Jenny said about she wants to make an extending card, this is what I had in my mind. Oh, I've forgotten his nose as well. Let's just colour his little nose in. So let's just make sure that is level. I think it is. Yeah. So there we have our little extended dashand. And let's give him a little gem, shall we? Let's give him some of these little gold ones. one okay now we need a piece of white for inside our card oh, trying to put dimensionals in the packet of gems these are the gilded gems and they're in the main catalogue they're really really lovely okay so let's just do our little piece for inside so we'll go with the same measurement we'll go with 10 centimeters by 14 point four centimetres. Okay. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of blending over here. Oh dear, my ink pad is in definite need of a refill. I did a light soft suede before. Okay. And let's pop that inside. Super cute, we need a buster stamp. We do need a buster stamp. Oh, a little buster, not so little buster. Buster is Dave's little buddy. And they have lot we have I haven't seen each other for a little while now. Um but they they do love each other. Um let's have that. How are you? No, let's just put a little heart in there actually. I think a little heart will be just what we need. Okay. So two cards this evening. I thought I was gonna make one. Um, we'll just recap for you. So these are the first two cards from this evening. This was my sample one that I made before I came on. And this is the one we put together um, on this live demonstration. So what I've got here is I've got a white card base. Um, on that centerpiece, I've stamped the bones and I've coloured in with a stamping blend really lightly and quite roughly. You'll see that... Um, I think it's just a nice little effect actually sometimes you don't want it coloured in really precisely we've added these two strips and done a little bit of speckling our cute little dash hound um, has been stamped and coloured in with the bronze stamping blend we've got a little high sentiment and then inside we've got a little layer of Sahara sand and another sentiment and then this one my little bonus card for this evening um, we've used one of the stitched so sweetly dies um, we've stamped our sentiment on a little heart and then my dash hound all I've done is I've cut him in half so there's his little bottom and there's his top half how funny um, and we've got a little bit of ink blending on the background and a couple of little gilded gems to finish so that's me done for this evening that's my second demonstration of the day I think I'm due a glass of wine in a moment Thank you so much for watching along with me tonight. I do appreciate you taking the time out of your day. Um, if you have any questions about any of the products or techniques I've used, please do get in touch. Remember, you've got that celebration promotion running until Friday, until Sunday, um, where you can earn a free product when you spend £45. 
Um, the mini cut and emboss machine that I showed earlier is in that promotion. Um, so when you purchase that item, you can choose a free item from the celebration stamp set. Um, you also got that joining deal on um, where you can choose £130 worth of product, uh, pay £99 and you will get a free pack of patterned papers worth £50. And that's running until Sunday as well. Um, any questions about any of that, let me know. Um, and I hope to see you very soon. I will be live again tomorrow morning with a very quick card. Um, and that will be me it for the week because I'm not live on Sunday. Have a great rest of your day wherever you are in the world. And I hope to speak to you very soon. Take care now. Bye.